Good morning and hi, Dr. Rachel. I am the consultant from this consulting company, Park Riot. Related to the problem mentioned to my consultancy on March 18, 2022, I would like to present to you my clarification theory. It was informed that the patient drops to negative 2 degrees Celsius and 60 voltage of the go through pressure reducing valve from the temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and 230 voltage. The sudden temperature drop will cause the crystallization in the pipe. Therefore, my intention is to construct a heat exchanger that can raise the temperature of the natural gas from 30 to 82 degrees Celsius. It is to ensure that the natural gas will not experience any sudden drop uh, of temperature and cause the natural gas to crystallize. To design a heat exchanger, I have calculated overall heat exchanger minimization, which consists of the mass balance, heat transfer surface area, overall heat transfer coefficient, and efficiency of the heat exchanger. Next, I also use the Lexis and EDR to stimulate the heat exchanger. However, there were a few problems I faced during the stimulation of Lexis and EDR. Examples are over insisting parameters that cause the simulation cause not. And second, the fluid package I use at the first place, which is NRTL, uh, was not suitable. And instead of using it, I used Bang Robinson. And lastly, there was a missing parameter input, which is falling factor for both natural gas and steam flow. Following that, I also constructed a piping and instrumentation diagram, uh, PNID. Uh, this diagram is uh, foundational to the maintenance and modification of the process that's running through the heat exchanger. Then, uh, this is um, critical design calculations that I have calculated, specifically on the tube sheet by referring to the CNOT book. Last but not least, I have managed to complete the mechanical drawing of the tube sheet of the heat exchanger. I was using computer aided design to get to finish this drawing. As you can see, the thickness of the tube sheet on the drawing follows the calculation I made. To conclude, this heat exchanger absolutely can solve the problem and prevent the natural gas to crystallize in the part. And overall efficiency of my heat exchanger is 44.8% by calculation. That is all I want to inform to you from my company. Thank you.